the 46th President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden, Jr. Um, uh, and with, uh, with, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, Joe Biden is a human pandemic. That's exactly what he is. From the border to the currency to inflation, the price of food, the price of gasoline, the price of toys and plastics and steel, go right down the list. He has opened the Pandora's box to inflation, and that is a hell of a top, tough box to shut. But the Democrats are used to these sort of things since they create inflation and recession and depressions all the time taking our money and money that doesn't even exist and throwing it all over the place to give money to its base as they follow this Marxist ideology of class warfare and oppression oppressor. I want to talk about Israel for a minute. Donald Trump was the biggest defender of Israel in the history of the Israeli state. Obama and Biden were the worst, the worst allies that Israel ever had. And they sided frequently with Israel's enemies. In fact, they cut off the supply of arms to Israel when Israel was under attack at one point. They gave the most heinous speech on their way out against the state of Israel, and they treated the prime minister like crap. Donald Trump changed all that in September. Just seven or eight short months ago, peace was breaking out. Peace deals were being signed on the south lawn of the White House. Israel was on the precipice of having a peace agreement with Saudi Arabia. Now look, now look, Biden comes in and he has surrounded himself with more Israel haters than there are fans in Yankee Stadium. There are Obamaites and worse. And what do they decide to do? Immediately give hundreds of millions of dollars to the Palestinians, which Trump had cut off because they wouldn't commit to not using the money for terrorism. What else do they do? They're looking to fund and support the Iranian regime, which is trying to have long distance missiles with nuclear warheads that can not only hit Israel, but the United States. This Iron Dome stops about 90% of the missiles. Can you imagine if one nuclear missile gets through? Well, our enemies see this. Joe Biden is the greatest president, not for our allies, but for our enemies. Hamas sees it, Islamic Jihad sees it, the Palestinian terrorists see it. That's why they're doing what they're doing. The communist Chinese see it, they thumb their nose at Biden, Putin sees it, they all see it. It's much more dangerous world as a result of, of uh, Biden being in the Oval Office. He is absolutely pathetic. He's undermined our military, he's undermined law enforcement, the borders are wide open, he's killing the currency, inflation's going through the roof, he's the Jimmy Carter of our economic, that, He's the Hugo Chavez of our economic system. His foreign policy is much like Jimmy Carter's foreign policy. Now, I have a question to ask. I have a question for President George W. Bush and Vice President Dick Cheney. Where the hell are you guys? Can't you get the chips off your shoulders? Donald Trump defeated your candidates and defeated your brother fair and square. The American people supported you. Those of us who are watching now, Many patriotic Americans, tens of millions, voted for you, supported you. You asked them for your support. They defended you when you came under attack by the same people who attacked Donald Trump. And you have done nothing. You've said nothing about what Joe Biden is doing. Are you not concerned about what Joe Biden and his party is doing in our classrooms and indoctrinating our children on racism? Are you not concerned about what's going on in the border, the drugs, MS-13, the sexual attacks that are going on? Are you not concerned about the efforts to destroy the independence of the judiciary and the Supreme Court? Are you not concerned about their efforts to pack the Senate for all time, to undermine the Electoral College? Are you not concerned about their effort to steal our electoral system so Democrats can't win uh, and can't lose any time in our history? Where are you, George W. Bush? Where are you, Dick Cheney? George W. Bush is a big article about how he's best friends with Michelle Obama. Have you read her tweets about how she hates America? Everyone is, I think, very interested. You're probably tired of talking about your friendship with Michelle Obama, but I know that is a real thing and not just something that sounds like fun, but I wonder how, it, like, as far as friends go, like, do you have her phone number in your cell phone? <laughs> no. You do not? Okay. 
nor does she have mine. But you know, here's here's the thing. Uh, I go to a lot of funerals. Yeah. And so does she. Okay. And because of protocol, I'm always stuck next to her, or she's always stuck next to me. Uh-huh. And uh, I get a little antsy during the long-winded eulogies. And so, so I start cracking a few jokes. And... Uh, <laughs> Funeral jokes, and uh, <laughs> and she seems to think they're funny, so I'm I'm delighted. And Dick Cheney, with all due respect, I supported you. I supported your daughter, of course. Your daughter, does she not see what's going on in this country? That we're facing these forces that seek a a the destruction of our system, our economic system, our immigration system. That she has such a hate on for Donald Trump and Donald Trump's supporters that they had to remove her as the third top Republican in the Republican leadership because she wasn't leading? This never Trumper crap has to stop. You never Trumpers, you left wing Democrats, and of course the media and the rest, you brought us to this point. This country was flying high. The economy was turning around. The borders were secure. Our military was being reinforced. Our, our cops were respected. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong. Not because of nature, not because these things are just happening, but because the Democrat Party, the Democrat Party is ruining this country, and the guy in the Oval Office is ruining this country. One final word to you, Joe Biden. The Israelis have been hit with 1,500 missiles produced by the Iranians. Uh, we are fully supportive of Israel's right to defend itself, and we will continue to support Israel's right to defend itself reaffirmed my strong support for Israel's right to defend itself. But uh, Israel has a right to defend itself when you have thousands of rockets flying into your territory. But uh, my hope is that we'll see uh, this coming to conclusion sooner than later. Thank you. Ron. And the best you can say, Joe Biden, is the Israelis have the right to defend themselves. The Israelis don't need you, who've been in Washington for half a century, to tell them that they have a right to defend themselves. The Jews have been defending themselves for 4,000 years without your permission. Why don't you state out front tomorrow, we stand with our ally Israel and against the terrorists who are shooting missiles against them. Why don't you tell Talib and Omar and AOC in your party, these anti-Semite Marxists, why don't you lecture them about what they're having to say and so forth? Where is the Democrat Party today? You're destroying America. You're undermining our ally. And let me say it again. If Donald Trump were president, none of this would be happening. I'm done.